welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Christina and today's video I'll be giving you guys curly girl hair tips and I follow these tips pretty faithfully and if you want results like me or I don't know every curly girl is different but these are some of my favorite tips that I follow and you might want to try them too and see how they work for you so let's get started. Tip number one condition 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 deep conditioning is super important you have to deep condition at least once a week i try to deep condition twice a week because it just helps with um detangling and it cuts down on that process of detangling it's so crucial if you're not deep conditioning with when with your curly hair something's wrong with you okay all right number two less is more so i say that because i don't use a whole lot of product and a little goes a long way especially with my type hair i don't need a whole lot especially if it's a thicker product so i only use a little bit for my entire head of hair tip number three when you're detangling after you wash your hair make sure you start from the end and work your way up you do not want to start at the top of your head when you're detangling i repeat do not start at the top of your head when you're detangling because you're just going to have a matted mess and it's not going to be pretty i learned that the hard way so take advice from me start at the bottom and work your way up when detangling tip number four get your ends trimmed every three to four months because if you don't get your ends trimmed you're gonna have a matted mess it's gonna be really really bad it's gonna be super difficult for you to detangle your hair and it's really really it's not fun i learned that the hard way too so yeah make sure you get your ends trimmed every three to four months Tip number five, make sure you use either a microfiber towel or 100% cotton t-shirt when you are drying your hair. So after you, you get out the shower or however you wash your hair, after you wash and condition your hair, you put your hair up so water won't be dripping all over the floor. Make sure that you use a microfiber towel or 100% cotton uh, t-shirt because a regular towel you're just gonna have an entire amount of frizz all over your head and it's not gonna be pretty so yeah make sure you use a microfiber towel or a 100% cotton t-shirt whichever one is fine I use both so yeah you want curly hair tips or try on hauls make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video from me okay back to the video tip number six don't forget about your ends oh my goodness i cannot stress this enough your ends are so crucial you have to give them a little bit of tlc because if not, they will be super, super frizzy and they won't be like the rest of your head. So you have to give them a little bit extra TLC. And that's just because I feel like they just need um, just a little more loving. They just need just some moisture. So make sure you don't forget about your ends because they're really important. And you never want to leave them out of a curly hair routine. Tip number seven. When you're applying your products, make sure you apply from mid length, so about here. Don't don't apply up here because it's just gonna sit on your head and it's not gonna look right. But if you wanna apply a whole bunch of gunk of product onto your head, be my guest, but I'd recommend not to, so I would start I start right here and it'll just come work your way up to the top of your head you don't need products sitting on your head just sitting there that's not cute tip number eight if you're going to diffuse 
dry, that's totally fine. But at least let your hair air dry 30 minutes before you di before you diffuse. I do this because I don't know. I don't like to jump into diffusing if I am gonna diffuse dry, just because my hair is just. I don't know my hair is really takes in a lot of moisture it needs a lot of moisture so I like to let it air dry so that's the way some of the water can absorb before I diffuse dry so that's super super important so make sure if you're not gonna wait if you can't wait 30 minutes wait at least 10 minutes but I recommend 30 minutes or more if you're gonna diffuse dry so air dry at least 30 minutes or more if you're going to um, diffuse dry. Mm -hmm. no, tip number nine, never, and I repeat, never brush or try to brush your curls when your curls are dry. You always have to make sure if you're brushing your curls it, that, they're, that they're at least damp or soaking wet. I say this because people who, if you're going to brush your hair while it's dry, that's not going to be fun. You're going to be in so much pain. It's just going to be matted and it's not going to be cute at all. So make sure you, your hair is wet when you're dry, when you're brushing your curls. Um, one of my final tips is once your hair is dry, gently, um, shake out the roots with your fingertips only i just like to use my fingertips because it's with me if i use like a pick it'll my hair just tends to frizz up at the top so i just like to use my hands like this and i also like to flip it upside down too but very very gently so make sure that you're doing it once it's dry if they're if your curls are still wet if your hair is still wet then it's not going to turn out right because it's there's still it still needs to dry so make sure you just shaking it just gently just like that and this is a tip that is super important you have to have patience with your curls it took me a long time to love my curly hair and i I haven't had any heat applied to my hair in almost a year. It'll be a year this month, actually. And I just had to learn how to have patience. It's a love-hate relationship, but I love my curls at the end of the day. And they're just so beautiful. You just have to have patience. It's really hard because I'm not a patience type of girl, but you have to have patience with your curls. So have patience. This is the best way to learn how to have patience is with your curly hair. Okay guys, so that was my final tip. So I'm going to go ahead and close out today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I love each and every single one of you. You all are amazing, beautiful people. And please, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that way you'll never miss a video. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed my curly hair tips. So, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!